20th. Don't believe me. Look at the canvas. <laughs> My I'm not making it up, Dre. Man. I think that Filipino flag that Tim saw, I think that's a trigger for Tim. I think he's having a man Pacquiao flashback. <laughs> man no, Pacquiao flashback. Listen to me. I'm thinking, about la I'm thinking about last week's fight as well. That yes. war that was going on that's with Salton. <laughs> Shoot. <laughs> man got off the canvas four times. Yes, he did. For now, they're trying to land that right hand, setting up a left hook as well. So now they got a lather. Now they're warmed up a little bit, and the punches are flying in round number two of a scheduled eight rounder. Trust me, Cortez feels that power. There's no doubt about it. And if he doesn't feel that power, his eye is feeling it. The right side of his eye is starting to swell quickly from the left hooks of Benaldez. You see how Cortez sets up his offense, sometimes le leaping in with that jab and following it up with two, three punch combinations as he sets up an overhand right on the ear of Bernaldez. And Bernaldez sees that too. Let's see if he can take advantage and, and, and counter Cortez leaping in like that. Ooh, nice short left from Cortez. It's gonna be a physical fight between these two. Ooh, nice, ooh, that was low, okay. Listen, guys, I don't know how true it is, but Cortez told us in the fighter meeting that he's not invited to many gyms because he dogs all the fighters inside the gym. <laughs> and uh, he, takes, he said he hit him too hard. I don't know how true that is, but I know he said he spars thing. too hard. He doesn't spar light. Yeah. Well, yeah. some fighter, he said some fighters don't like that. Fighters go to spar to work. Exactly. Cortez goes to fight. Well, ain't nothing yeah. wrong with that. I mean, listen, uh, you got to get your behind kicked in sparring so that way you don't get your behind kicked out here. If he's a great sparring partner, then use him. But also at the same time, I did heard that he likes to record the sparring and blast them on uh, social media. That may so be. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> that's why he's he's not liked in the gyms. That makes more sense. See, look at Tim, investigative reporter. Oh, I had Timothy to. Bradley. I had to. Hey, Krieg was going to get jealous. He went and interviewed. I was going to say, hey, watch out, Krieg. Watch now, out, Krieg. Hey, next thing you know, Dre's going to be breaking news and cops are going to be in trouble. <laughs> no, <laughs> Man, no, I'm thank you. You. Nah, I'm not, I'm not the school guy. <laughs> hey, but all days are just looking for one big shot. And Cortez is just trying to be a little bit more busy, but he's also respecting the power of Bernaldez. That's why he's not opening up like he usually does. You know who's busy as well? Our very own Mark Kriegel is in the locker room with uppercut off the ropes. Ooh, nice jab. See, the fight would be oh. easy for oh, Look like a head clash yeah. right there. No cut so far, which is a good thing. Cortez just got to get that jab working. Be able, to, be, able to, be, be able to control. Oh my God, their heads are coming together. That's twice in this round that the heads clash, and it's going to get more dangerous as the fight progresses. Well, you have you have Benaldez. He's he's leaping in with the left hook with his head down the middle. He's not getting his head up off the line. That's the reason why you have the head clashes, and then you have Cortez coming in, also trying to attack. See Bernaldez landing a nice combination to the body. Go right in. Nice dip right there. The shot that's been fight. trying to land on all fight long is that overhand right. We knew what we were getting in this fight in terms of two attacking fighters, and here in round three, they're finally one decides to go to the body as well. Ooh, nice body work right there from Cortez. Total flex up and all this. Cortez saying, you got body work, you got a knife, got the same. Cortez needs to figure out why he keeps getting hit with that overhand. Sold down, he got caught with an overhand right. Now he follows it up with a right and left, does Cortez. Oh, that body shot right there, left body shot was nasty from Cortez. Cortez is now digging with those shots, and he's just trying to finish Bernardez here in round number three. And here's another stoppage. Was it too quick? From the referee on this occasion, Alan Huggins, who's quick with the trigger. That was too quick. Too quick. He, finally, he stepped up and found 
a home for that overhand right. But it was the pressure. That's what it was. He realized that Benaldez did not take pressure all too well. Benaldez is the type of fighter that likes to bully his opponent. But when you bully him, he doesn't know what to do. And as you can see, as he poured on more and more pressure, getting Benaldez out of position, the referee step in and finish it. Just changing the rhythm up, changing the speed of the combinations to the head and also to the body. But not, you know, he wasn't responding. He threw one shot right there. Got clipped right there on the chin with the overhand right. And I think that's the shot that got the ref's attention. As you can see, he's watching closely. And this right here, that's exp finish up with the combinations. This is the way you get the referee to step in. They might not land, but it's just Cortez. I think what started all that trouble was that left hook to the body right there. Mm -hmm. That's what started all the trouble because Cortez was already landing shots to the head, but it wasn't until he landed to the body and then went back to the head that...